Hey YouTube, this is Rishika again. This would be my eighth video tutorial on data stage and second video tutorial on parallel jobs. So as I have said in my previous video that I'll be dealing with each and uh, I mean most of the most of the important stages. Uh, yeah, so let's start with the database connection, uh, database stages. So yeah. Uh, we finished everything in this except container container when I design jobs and everything I'll show you what container does because if I tell you now it it doesn't really make sense and then data quality is like a uh, quality stage stages this data quality stages are generally used for like a uh, like a prayer like cleaning the data cleansing the data and I mean filtering out the dirty data and all that stuff which I'll be dealing with uh, once I complete the parallel jobs I'll then deal with the quality stage jobs too so yep that's uh, and then coming to the database stages yeah let's start with uh, these stages but uh, I'll do uh, only one video for one stage and try to make it a little I mean, less than like probably 30 minutes or at the most like less than one hour uh, it depends on the stage if it's like very long I'll try to make it like two parts so that it would be easy to uh, easy easy for um, people to understand it doesn't make sense for I mean it doesn't make sense for me to go pretty long time like almost like more than one hour because by the time we listen everything we uh, it, it, it's a human brain right so yeah uh, so no more waste of time uh, so I'll deal with ODBC connector in this video and in the next video I'll be dealing with Oracle connector so as of now let's go to the ODBC connector so connector stages basically you do have like these drop downs uh, drop down list when you have like these uh, it means that you need you can choose uh, I mean, there are like multiple ways multiple DB to UDBs and multiple informix and all that uh, all that things so but connector is like uh, connector stages are only introduced if you if you remember my, if you remember my first video tutorial on data stage when I made the differences I said that the connectors were only uh, only introduced in 8x version right so yeah and these connector stages are pretty fast because they use their own native driver so yeah that's the reason there is re fast retrieval and the, and the, the data is like the it, everything like the job flows pretty fast so yeah whenever you have chance to use the connector stages go for it so let's come into the ODBC connector it's ODBC is open database connection so uh, basically what that means is uh, this basically needs to have okay let me tell uh, first uh, okay okay so yeah ODBC connector I mean it needs to be configured it doesn't mean that it need uh, it needs to be installed differently or it has no uh, I mean any installation specific installation but the thing is it needs to be configured like it has some uh, uh, it has some uh, features that need to be configured before we can use that stage and I can't really uh, show that in my system because uh, this my my admin doesn't allow me to do that stuff so yeah uh, so yeah but I, I, I'll, I'll tell you like basically what you know what you need to do is you need to configure the database drivers uh, drivers are like basically you need to install and configure database drivers uh, before you can use this uh, ODBC conf uh, ODBC connector stage it, it's uh, you you might be worried uh, by the terms like configuration installation and database drivers but it's not really that big deal go just go to the uh, control panel and uh, go to some configuration or something or ODBC data sources you see their ODBC network settings I guess so there you see ODBC data sources then yeah when you click on that you choose uh, DSN and all that stuff yeah there you have like couple of databases that you have in your uh, that your basically your project environment is configured so you choose from a list of uh, you choose one of uh, one of them from the list and then yeah and then just configure it that's it that's not a big deal but yeah I, I, I could not use that uh, I could not show you guys I'm sorry so yeah basically you need to install a uh, uh, drivers database drivers and then have uh, a data source like uh, a supported data source like um, XML files or some of the relational databases like SQL or Oracle or a SQL server or uh, yeah I mean it, it depends it depends on your uh, database sources 
so yep once you uh, once you once everything is configured then this odbc stage you can use for reading the data like the source stage and for also writing data writing data in the sense target stage so you can read and write and you can also have lookup data and filter data you can also use this stage to look up and filter so you might be wondering what's filter right filtering is like when you have like 100 records and you want only 50 records to pass through uh, writing some sql statement and all that but it also says that 50 records must be passed to the target but i am also i also need to have 50 50 other records which are not not passed to the target stage in another file so that's when uh, you use filter stage which i'll be dealing with uh, pretty soon but the thing is see uh, when you right click and drag a link this is a mainstream link right this is a mainstream link and you have like some transformations and then write to the output and when i click on other link this is the reject link if you remember my, from my previous videos uh, this bigger uh, dashes represent the reject link so basically when i have like 100 uh, 100 input records in this i'm saying that 50 records i'm writing some transformation in the source stage itself okay i'm writing some sql statement in the source stage like when department number okay let's say i have like two departments okay let's say i have like 10 departments and i need to have like only when department number is 10 pass through this all other departments i'm not really worried about them but i need uh, my client needs to see what are all the other departments other than 10 so when that requirement comes up i can just filter it out in the source itself i need not write filter stage and then go on and it, it makes a waste of resources so i can just like put a reject link here itself and then collect all the records which are which have which don't have the department number as 10 so yeah that's how it works whenever you pull extra links it all the reject links see all are the reject links you can have like multiple uh, output links and all are reject links but when i try to when i right click on the reject link it shows me that convert to stream and convert to reference so when i hit convert to stream it says that it doesn't support any more output links let's see when if we can convert to reference no nope, we can't convert it to reference too so yep that's how it works only one stream a uh, one input link i mean sorry one output link but multiple reject links based upon your data so now you're not worried about those so control z control z i hope you remember this shortcut control z and control z okay so yeah uh, coming to this uh, so I, as i have been saying that for the rdbc connector uh, the driver manager needs to establish the connection right so basically oh, what what we need to do is uh, like basically the driver and the driver manager like the database driver and the driver manager they need to be installed on the same local system because when we when the connector uh, when the connector is like installed and running it checks the it checks whether the driver and the driver manager are installed in the local system then uh, then once it's once it's done then it checks that the data source like sql or oracle anything it's 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 uh it's established in the remote system remote system is which we are using it so yep then uh then we can connect it to multi uh, the every, if everything is set then we can connect it to uh, data sources uh but for parallel jobs what the important thing is the driver and driver manager must be installed on every node like so let's say configuration file is like four so yeah it needs to be installed on every node i mean you need not worry about those much details so yeah so that's it uh that's it for the uh that's it for this uh odbc odbc connector stage and yeah we can also use this odbc connector stage to establish a connection to the other databases like when you want to establish a connection with the other databases yeah you can use this connect, uh, connector stage and then establish the uh, uh whatever you say like uh, other databases so yep that's pretty much about the uh, odbc o odbc stage so let's uh, click on this and see what's hap uh, what's in what all the things it's pretty much like oracle stage uh, so yeah so data source name uh, you're going to give what uh, you're going to give like your data source name or like basically your database uh, what's your data source name if it's oracle it depends it depends on how you name your uh, data source right 
yeah it's it may be oracle or it's maybe xc if you have like a um, oracle database installed or yeah i mean it depends and the username username is like something like scott or hr or admin or uh, yeah all that stuff uh, whatever um, to which to which schema you need to collect that's uh, the and through which username and password so that's your username and password and generate sql is something like uh, it basically your generate sql means basically it's asking if 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 you want to write sql statement uh, by yourself using uh, using the sql statement like select star from employees where department number is 10 and all that or else no no in the sense we need to write see when we have when we have no the sql statement it's mandatory because we are saying that uh, our odbc connector you need you don't worry about the sql statement i'm writing it myself but when you have when you click it yes see this select statement is disabled so basically what we are saying is i'm too lazy to write the sql statement you generate it yourself so yeah so that's when it's asking me the table name so table name is like whatever uh, always remember if you are using different schema schema dot table name okay so yep that's it and these all will read uh, will will it's pretty much all same as the oracle stage but uh, yeah i'll deal with it, uh, all this in oracle stage so yep that's it and leave everything as default you need not worry because we have uh, individual connector stages so you need not worry about odbc and then dump your URL columns and then click OK. And once you dump your columns, then it's gonna have like view. <coughs> sorry. Uh, then it's gonna have like view data function. Okay, let me see. Uh, I I I'm I'm pretty sure that it doesn't work because, as I said, my ODBC and all the driver stuff uh, isn't installed. But let me let me show you what, what uh, how does that work. So my username is Scott and Tiger and yeah i'm too lazy to write sql statement okay and hr dot uh, let's say regions okay so now let's import our metadata hr dot regions okay okay uh just a moment it's taking little time i guess Okay, yeah here it goes so then okay and yep column is columns are dumped and then go to properties and then click on view data see so some error is popping up it says sql connect uh, so and so i mean data says a data source name not found and no default driver specified see because i didn't have the driver specifications like the connect odbc driver specification and and also i didn't have like data source also so yeah that's a problem with this so that's it that's it about the odbc connector stage now let's see uh, how it uh, i mean how many links can we have if we have like uh, this odbc stage in the target so let's put on a sequential file and just remove this and just try making it to the target so okay see now uh, let's try to convert it into the stream see it says no uh, no stream link because it means that you're writing from sequential file this is the very bad design don't follow this as even an example i'm just like uh, showing you how to how to have like uh, what type of links are when uh, are basically accepted when we use this odbc stage as a target so yeah so it, it means that it's only accepting the reject link so let's see how many reject links it, it accepts see multiple reject links so when it is used as a target stage it can only have uh, reject links let's see if, if it accepts reference link okay it, it doesn't accept reference link so it means that whenever the data is written to the rdbc connector stage you cannot uh, you can only filter the data or you can only accept the rejected data through the reject links you can have like n number of the maximum number is as far as i remember is 64 i guess so yeah i mean i hope you will not use 64 links at a time for rejecting and all that so yeah don't worry but 
yeah multiple uh, reject links and multiple output links and those output links are always reject links so yeah and it, it should be pretty much same except that yeah you define this partitioning i mean if if you have like basically if you have like reject links it's basically asking for the partitioning or uh, what type of partitioning you remember right in my previous video i i told you partitioning techniques and all those so these are the different partition techniques so if i have like dv2 then performs i mean I, i'll explain this perform sort things yeah so basically these are the things which we need to do when we are passing the data to the other stage so yeah that's it guys that's the, about the odbc connector stage and yeah uh, okay yeah that's it guys that's us in this video not nothing uh, more than that i don't want you to know uh, anything more than this unless and until you are like really desperate and you are really working on that so this is pretty much uh, pretty pretty good enough for basic uh, brief idea uh, so yeah in my next video uh, I'll, i'll stop this video here because i don't want to uh, add two or more videos in two or more stages in one uh, one video i'll make whatever length it may be i'll make just each video each stage so yep and in my next video i'll be dealing with the oracle connector stage pretty much in detail so because <laughs> i'm pretty familiar with that uh, i have been using oracle connector stage from from pretty long time so yeah i'll be dealing with that okay thank you guys thanks for watching and i really i have been seeing your comments and likes and subscribers uh, subscribers i'm very very blessed uh, for thanks for really appreciating me and thanks for encouraging me i am working on other tutorials i mean uh, i'm working to upload all the tutorials pretty soon thank you guys thank you so much for watching and thanks you so much for encouraging bye bye